So, I put up a poll on YouTube a uh, while back. I, I forget how long ago, but it was a while back. I put up a poll on YouTube. It was just like, what do people think about the easier uh, difficulty of Persona 3 Reload? Fast majority of people who voted did not care. And that's fair. The reason why I brought it up was something that actually is pretty concerning to me. The gameplay, essentially, they wanted to go... They, they wanted to come off the heels of Persona 5 and have that be the sort of standard going forward. That's fine, you know, and everything. The problem I have with it is, is the more easier difficulty, essentially, is, like, it's not the idea that it exists. I'm absolutely fine with the game being easy. It, it game being easier, honestly, if that is your option, you know. If you want to pick an easier difficulty, Okay, fine, go for it. I mean, it's, it's like, the only person who is, would be, like, losing something is, well, you. Like, that, that's perfectly fine, though. So, I get it, though. I understand, just, like, people don't want to, like, just be forced to sweat and everything. I get wanting to take it easier, and I get it. But the problem I have with the combat is not, like, the idea that it's easier, but more so the idea of it, like, the easiness being forced upon the game and everything. The point I'm trying to make is that, like, if I choose the difficulty hard, right, I would want to, at the very least, feel that difficulty for the most, for the majority of it. I don't want to, like, go through this game where it's just like, oh, there's one thing that might slip me up. No, I, I want to go through this game actually, like, feeling like this is legitimate difficult. Legitimately difficult. So, the problem I have with it, ultimately, is that it feels like, instead of actually making a difficult, like, a challenging difficulty, right? Instead of that, it it feels like the difficulty is sort of an illusion of choice in this game. And on one hand, yeah, you can say, well, that's because you played Persona before, sure. But on the other hand, that should raise an even bigger question. Why don't you have, like, a harder difficulty set up? Why don't you have your game with uh, more hard difficulty... Cons that takes into consideration that people have already played your series before. You know what I mean? Even with me knowing the weaknesses, right? The gameplay should not be going this smooth. The, re the reason why I will fully admit, the reason why I bitch is because, because the gameplay isn't as hard as it should be if I choose... Like, if I were to go... Go into system. Go to config. Hey, hey, Obsidian. And change the difficulty... To... Peaceful? Like, okay, peaceful. I seriously doubt I would see much of a difference. At all. The problem I have with it is not the idea that this game is easy and therefore I'm pissed. The problem is, like, it feels like the easier difficulty is being forced upon the, the players regardless of opinion so if i if i chose hard mode i i honestly I, I would want to feel like i chose actual hard mode i don't want to feel like there's only a, a few things that are like sort of amp up the difficulty i want to feel like actually like i'm sweating like other games have a difficulty issue easy easel but other games also have solved the difficulty like most notably like something like devil may cry like, once you beat, like, it has easy, medium, hard, but once you beat either mode, you get, like, new special modes that, like, try to put more to the test. Like, hey, you get to hit enemies, as, you get to hit enemies on normal levels, but you only get hit three times and then you die, or something like that. And... Yeah, to be fair, sorry, to be fair, no. though, like, DMC and uh, Persona, just in terms of gameplay, though, it's, it, you know, it's an apple and orange situation where, even just beyond how they're designed in that, you know, People are gonna find something difficult with one genre compared to another, I feel. Yes, I am fully aware of this. I understand this. Like, hell, that's why I didn't, like, the other the other comparisons I could make are, like, different genres of games, too. Like, I could say, ultimately, like, or in the Blind Force, for instance, is a Metroidvania, but it also has, like, a one-life mode where it's, like, you only get one chance to beat the game and that's it. Yeah, I understand, like, I understand saying that the game should go with these other game difficulties is a very unfair opinion to have. My point ultimately, though, is that those games are demonstrations of being able to increase a difficulty with the idea of, like, what your game has to offer and what you can be able to do in the game and going off of that. 
So, like, for example, I, I think I mentioned this to you with the Merciless mode. Like, having the more hit-to-miss ratio in this game, the harder difficulty, the more hit-to-miss ratio being in favor of the enemies, where they constantly, like, there's a little chance of them getting missed, and of uh, them getting hit, and more chances of them hitting. That feels more like a difficulty curve. That feels more like the game wanted you to actually feel the difficulty and progress through it. But that's not what I'm... That's not what I feel in, in this game. Ultimately, I just feel like, okay, some enemy might have, might hit a little harder once, and that's it. That's all I feel. So, yeah, the whole thing of reason why I bitch is just because I, I wanted it to... I don't know, I, I kind of wanted to get my money's worth. I picked hard mode, I kind of want to be able to sweat. You should have been, you should have made bit the bullet and gone for no mercy. You, yeah, granted, you could get that on Atlas as well for why the fuck can't I pick it after I start the game, but you know. <laughs> It's your fault for being a bitch, you ever think about that? I 100% believe that Merciless wouldn't have changed anything, but even if it does, I mean, like, the fact that I'm beating this game on easy mode, like... Fucking... If you can't... If, if you're having trouble beating this game, and you've already played games like Persona 5, if you're having trouble beating this game on hard mode, or even Merciless, you... you, you that, that is a skill issue. 100%. Well, to be fair, like, I imagine a lot of people that are picking this up, you know, a lot of them are going to be people who played Persona 3 before, or just fans of the franchise. Yeah. A lot of them are going to be like, this will be their first Persona game, so... You know, I understand rebalancing it for the sake of that. Just to yeah. make it more approachable, so people have, you know, are interested in trying out the other games as well. But, I do get what you're saying though, like, it should be a case where... Atlas, this is a case where you can have your cake and eat it too. You can make it Absolutely. something that appeals to the newcomers, and the people who've been playing this since... Yeah. Well, it's Japan, so since like the first fucking Megami Tensei came out in 1987 or whatever. <laughs> they yeah. exist. I mean, it's a long-running franchise, you'd hope so. At the very least, they could, like, the higher the difficulty goes, like, in Merciless mode, they could re, uh, revise and bring back the fatigue system. Like, yeah, I know people are going to say, oh, the fatigue system sucked in the original, but adding it to just Merciless difficulty would, or hard difficulty, you know, it would have at least been more of a challenge to overcome. Like, just just something more Fair to enough. the difficulty. Hell, you know what? Ultimate throwback? Add in a mode where the AI controls your party members. Like, just use the exact same AI again. So Mitsuro just fires Marin Karen's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are some things I... Like, as much as I bitch about this, like, there are still things I do like in this game and like that I like that I brought it back. Speaking of bringing back, it's time for dad jo It's time for the Jack Brothers dad jokes routine. A skeleton walks into a bar and says, Hey bartender, I'll have one beer and a mop! I will say this though, like, Persona 3 is selling really well for its remake, because I think this is oh, like yeah. the fastest selling Persona game ever. Oh, yeah. What was it, a week of mi a week, and it sold a million copies? Yep, I think it's something like that, yeah. Like, I mean, this is like the most, this was like tied for Persona 2 for the most demanded remake people to have, so. Oh yeah, like 100%, and I, I also 100% believe because of the success of this, because that's the one thing, for as much as I have criticized this game, and much as I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, just, this is start, this is gonna be my last game, I was 100% uh, in belief that this was this game was gonna sell like crazy. I 100% this game was not going to bomb, because Persona 3 awesome. is such a, yeah. like, it, it's so important to the series and its fans. And then well, when you yeah, have the, yeah, sorry, no, 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 no sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 go ahead. I was gonna, I was gonna say like I think this is one of the most asked for video game remakes now that you know, the obvious ones of FF7 and that were done years ago. So, mm -hmm. I think just with like how many people are asking for it as well. Yeah. You know, it was gonna sell well regardless. Like even if it just was like half a million a week, you know, yeah, and still be better than a lot of Atlas's games. Yeah, and also, especially like, yeah, I, I know I bitched about the combat and how easier it is, yada yada yada, but I mean, I still like, it's not gonna stop me from enjoying the game, it's just, these are just like stuff I'm like criticized or it's just stuff I'm disappointed in, but I would like to see this go back, see, like, the thing is, like, I don't want to go off the notion that this is a perfect game, I don't, because what that says to me is that, okay, so then what's the point of making another Persona? No, just like, you, you call out the stuff that they I don't think that they did too well, and then hope for in the future with Persona 6 and whatnot that they actually improve it. 
Yeah, also, I just want to say this, so, so I'll be I'll be hoping you t I'll be seeing like how long that this is my last Persona game lasts for when Persona 6 gets revealed. Because <laughs> I'm okay. I said this was the last Persona. Interesting enough. Okay, I said this was the last Persona game that I bought. I didn't say anything about people buying it for me. Uh, I, I don't believe I don't believe in being a drug dealer, so you can do that yourself, Nate. <laughs> well, then I guess we're just, I guess I'm just never gonna play it. I rather I, I would rather watch Kagato play it, or just trade it, or just trade this in eventually. 